What's up, Matty P? I am back in Bukit Peninsula after an awesome road trip to Western Valley with a couple of friends. Got some great waves, had some good times, and now it is really my last couple days here, and I'm on a mission, a mission for a type of sea urchin. So last time when I was hunting for the klejat, that shell, and the seaweed, I had actually brought in a type of urchin, a big black spiny one, and all the girls at Ari's Warung were laughing at me because it's not the kind of one that you'd want to eat or even touch. So she told me there is actually another type of edible urchin. I'll have to get the name in Balinese later, but uh, it's supposed to be very delicious. They fry it up and it's actually quite small. It hides in the rocks at low tide. So low tide is right now. I'm gonna rip it over there on the scooter and hopefully I can score one more tasty treat before I have to leave this amazing island. How are you doing, Maddie? Good, you? Good. I wanted to go look for some sea urchin. Sea urchin? Yeah. yeah. It's low tide maybe one hour ago. You think it's yeah. too high? Is it too high? Too high now. You think? It's getting higher. Well, maybe I can try. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have a plastic bag. Yep. Yeah. Um, I already had a little uh, special tool or something like that. It was like a little kind of thing with a metal hook on it, I think. Yeah. Oh, that looks like it. Well, I hope the tide's not too yeah. high, because it was low tide at four. Ah, that's the one. <laughs> Special tool. Special tool. So this is especially to get them out of the rock. And what, what's uh, sea urchin in Balinese? Kantian. Kantian. Okay, and yeah. they're small. Small. And they're in the rocks and they're black, not like the big black spiky one I got last no. time by mistake. They're smaller. They're always small. And is there any size I have to get or it doesn't matter? Any doesn't matter. No, okay. You can eat it raw. Oh yeah? Yeah. Okay. It's good. I'll just cook a little bit. Okay. Add salt and chili. Ah, if you like. that's very Balinese. Add some chili. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going after the Kantian with this. Looks like a dentist's tool. So I just found one then exploded it by mistake. Sorry little guy. I have to keep searching. <laughs> Whoops. One of those crazy eels again. Ooh, I found some Kalejat. Look at these guys. Boom! No urchins, but hey, those are pretty big size. Oh my god, I found an urchin. The urchin of my dreams. I see one. I see one. It looks very small. I don't know how to get it out of the rock without destroying it. Okay, finally. This looks so small though, like, I don't know, compared to the ones I had in New Zealand, this is so tiny. There can't be anything to eat in here. So not a total fail. But the ones I was going for, I got like one tiny one. And then the two I tried to get out of the rock, I just exploded with the tool. So sorry, sea urchins, I uh, didn't mean to, but they're really jammed in there. Here's the spoils. So this is all I have. Uh, this one looks, yeah, not even edible. This guy is at least big enough to do something with. Not ideal, but at least we didn't get skunked. 
And I did get two good sized kledjat, so maybe I'll just give these to another fisherman because I'm not going to bother cooking them up today. I only found a few. And I think it's too small, the one that I have. You're locking me out, Maddie. <laughs> the cat is broken. It's broken. I can hop the fence. I've done that many times. Yes. Let me show you what I have and you can I tell me how I did. Are you ready to be amazed? <laughs> <laughs> this is good. That's good. Is that the same name or that's a different yeah, kind? This is Kantian. That is Kantian. Kantian. Yes. Oh, I thought it was maybe the wrong kind. I don't know how to do it. You don't know how to? Oh, I've done it just before. You just bash it open. Yeah. yeah. This is um, Terong Terong. Oh, that's a different one. Yeah. Oh, okay. But this time you can eat still inside. But this one's too tiny. Too tiny. Okay, I'm gonna put them back in the ocean. Kleja. Kleja. Yeah, look at that one. That one's big. You can open this and eat it raw if you want to. Okay. We can't fry it up in here? Uh, no, it's not enough to fry. People said it's sweet. Yeah. But I don't like it. I don't eat this one. So I think you just bash it. Yeah. The orange part. Yeah. Is it just the orange part? Yeah. Yeah. It's very gooey. Salty. There's <laughs> not very much in here. So it's better raw than soup. This is a lot. That's a lot? Yeah. Really? Usually much more less than this. Oh okay. <laughs> Not my favorite. <laughs> I think I like the Glejat better. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we tried. It's not the season. No. Oh, no, there's a season for yeah, them. Yeah, because the web is too big. Oh. Yeah, so I thought maybe it was overfishing or something like that. Too many people taking them. No, no. No. So normally small waves is better. They start coming back in shore. Mm -hmm. They start here. There was a lot less sea urchins out there than when I was getting the kin at in New Zealand. New Zealand, they were all over the place and huge. Here, they're pretty small and kind of difficult to find. Now part of the problem is is that the tide is already coming in. It made the water wash around. It was difficult to see. The level of the water was too high for me to really get access to all the rocks. But in general, definitely more difficult. And maybe I was a little overconfident on this one after having such uh, good luck in New Zealand. Mm -hmm.